So this lecture is on how to do significant figures and scientific notation. Um, and I probably should have uh, put a line right there in between those two. So I'm going to be discussing both in this, in this lecture. So first let's go over sig figs. So we, we've already established that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 are always uh, significant. All right, and then we've determined that it's zeros that are the pesky little critters. Now, when do they count? Well, let's go over a couple of examples. If zeros are in the front, so I'm going to use these two examples below. If zeros are in the front, they never count, so those zeros don't count. If zeros are in the middle, they always count. And if zeros are at the end, they count if there's a decimal, but in this case, there is no decimal. And since non-zero numbers always count, that means this number has three significant figures. And I'm going to come back to that in a few minutes. This one, on the other hand, also has three significant figures. Now, if I had added a zero on the end, it would have had four, but I didn't. So I'm going to erase that, and I'm going to say that this one has three also. Okay, so that's what you need to be able to do. Identify the number of sig figs in any numbers that I give you. Of course, once we get started in this class, they would have units. So this might be 437,000 grams, and this might be centimeters or something. I mean, it isn't. That's a little ridiculous. That's a really tiny number. But um, for now, we're just going to deal with the numbers. If we asked for measurements, it wouldn't change the fact that this measurement, if it was grams, would have three sig figs, and this measurement, if it was milliliters, say, would still have three sig figs. So having a unit on a measurement doesn't change how many sig figs are in the number. Now also today we went over figuring out scientific notation. So let's put that in purple. So I'm going to go back to the same ones that we just used, and I'm going to say, okay, this number is a very large number. Now we have to get it between 1 and 10. So I'm going to get here and I'm going to say, okay, I have to move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places. So the number will then be 4.37. Now remember, these are not significant. We've determined there's three sig figs, so I'm not going to write those zeros in the number. And then I'm going to show that I move the decimal place by a power of... 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so this is the number in scientific notation. This is what you can call regular or normal notation, and this is scientific notation. All right. So now let's look at the other number. This is a very small number. I'm going to move the decimal place in the opposite direction, and let's see how many times I have to move it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, now, this number is now 3.01. I moved it seven places this way. I've made a very small number appear to be very large, so that would mean it's times 10 to the negative seventh. So a negative exponent on the 10 indicates a tiny number. It does not indicate a negative number. All right, so that's how you would write numbers with sig figs, and this is how you would then translate it into scientific notation also with significant figures. Now I also showed you in class how to do it on your calculator. If you need to see that, you can come and see me after class and I will show you how to do that. All right, another thing you should know how to do is how to figure out how many sig figs something has and then how to cut it off and write it with a certain number of sig figs. So we've got this number 120,435 and I would like you to write it with a various number of sig figs. Well, let's pick another color. Well, how about blue? Blue sounds good. All right, so we've got this number here, and now I want to write it with only four significant digits. So that means I'm going to have to cut it off here. So I'm going to, and three is not above five, so I'm going to write one, two, zero, comma, four. Now I can't change 120,400 into 1,204. So what numbers can I add that will be placeholders and show that I have only four sig figs? There you go. Now we're going to do the same thing again, only this time we're going to write it with three sig figs. 
All right, so I'm going to cut it off right here. All right, that's a four. So that's a little tricky. How am I going to reflect that I want you to know this zero is correct? So in math, you probably covered it. If you draw a line above it, that indicates it's significant. So we've got uh, one zero that is significant, and the other three are not. That's a little tricky. I try to avoid that on tests, but in this example, I gave you one like that. All right, let's do it again. Only this time, we're going to do two sig figs. All right, so here we go. We're going to cut it off in two. So how could I write it with two sig figs? It would be 120,000. Notice that this time, I had not indicated a line above the zero, indicating I only have two sig figs, and those two sig figs are the one and the two. And finally, I'm going to write it again with only one sig fig. Ooh, that's going to be hard. Let's do that in red. How can I cut this off with only one sig fig? Could the answer be one? I don't think so. What is close to 120,000 that has one significant digit? And that would be 100,000. If you're having a little trouble with this, please come and see me, all right? And we will talk about it. All right, let's pause it for a second. I'll go on to the math part. Okay, math part, it's always the same. Do the math, my friends, first. So let's do these three examples. Get out your calculator. You can pause it right here, and I want you to do the math, and I want you to write the answers for those three problems on the left. So I'm going to get out my calculator. I'm going to write the answers, and then, when I, and then when you're done writing the answers, come back and compare your answer to my answer. Okay, so how many of you did the math and you got those answers? Now, some of your calculators might be throwing it into scientific notation. Uh, that's fine, I'll accept either answer. For example, once I did this one in scientific notation, my answer came out that way, so I put it both ways for you. So now we've got to decide how many sig figs there are. So first we've done the math. So in this one, I have four decimal places, because remember this is addition subtraction, it has different rules. But this one right here has three decimal places. So this one can have three decimal places, so I've got to cut it off there. Notice the six is above five, so what does that mean about that zero right there? It means that I need to round it up. So my answer is 8.731, and that's my final answer. All right, now the rules are different for multiplication and division. So I'm going to look at the total number, and this one has four sig figs. Here they are right here. This one has four sig figs too, so that makes it kind of easy. They both got four. So how many can our answer have? Four. So I'm going to cut it off right there. Again, this seven is above five. I'm going to round it up. And so my final answer is point one nine four seven. I had to round it up, so be careful on the quiz, because if you don't round it up when you should, I'm going to um, make sure you do. All right, last but not least, let's check out this last number here. This one has four sig figs, because zeros in the front don't count, but this one only has three, so our answer can only have three, and so how am I going to cut it off with three? Again, I'm going to round this up, so every single one of these needed to be rounded. Make sure you know how to do that. So this answer is 219 if you're using regular notation. If you're using scientific notation, oh, I'm going to use my eraser. I'm just going to write it as, here we go, 19. So this answer is in scientific notation. This answer is regular notation. Both are correct. So why don't you try the last two and then come back and the answers will have magically appeared, so pause the recording right now and try the last two, and then the work will appear and you can check your answer with mine. All right, we're back. Remember, adding and subtracting is decimal places. This has two, and that's the winner because this has three, and this one, oh, I'm wrong. This one has one. The winner is one. So erase that right there. Okay, two. So we're going to base our answer on one decimal place. We're going to cut it off right there. And that means the final answer is 88.2. Why did I not round it up? Because zero is not above five. So that is the final answer for that one. Let's look at this one. This one is multiplication. This one has four sig figs. This one has three sig figs. 
and uh, so that means my answer can have 3. So I've got to cut it off here if I have my answer in scientific notation, and I have to cut it off here if I do not, if I have it in regular notation. So how am I going to write that one in, in scientific notation? Well, quite simply, I'm going to write uh, 2.50 times 10 to the second. Or in this case, I'm going to write 250. And what can I do to make sure you count that zero is significant? Well, all I have to do is add a decimal place. So this has three sig figs. This one has the three sig figs. So I hope that helps you understand how to do these problems, and the lecture notes will also be online along with this lecture. All right, have a nice evening.